So what exactly is symmetry? Because it's really important when we start talking about quadratic functions. So let's take a look at what exactly symmetry means to us in math. Take this circle, for example. If you were to draw a line through the diameter of this circle, this becomes a line of symmetry. It means that you could take this half right here, fold it over onto this half, and you would have just this semicircle, or half a circle. And then if you were to take this, and draw another line, and cut it in half, and fold this half onto this, you would again have something that's mirrored, or flipped over on itself. Let's look at one more example. Take, for example, this happy little cube. What would happen if we were to take a moment and sort of play with it? For example, let's start by and cut it in half with this knife. So as we cut it in half, notice what we're actually doing is splitting it along this axis of symmetry that goes right through the cube. So once we split it in half, what we get is this half of a happy cube. Notice we've cut it in half and removed part of it. Imagine then that we were to take that half of the cube and hold it up next to a mirror. Once you hold our half of a cube up against this mirror, you'll notice that you get a reflection here that is the rest of the cube, the part we cut away. It's just talking about the fact that this line where we cut it in half is a symmetry line. Basically, anytime you have something that can be folded over and match up with itself over a single line, it's considered symmetrical. There are lots of examples of things that are symmetrical in real life. For example, take a look at any of the sp common sports balls you see at a ballpark. Anything that's spherical, like this soccer ball, basketball, tennis ball, baseball, or volleyball, they're all symmetrical. They could be folded over one side to the other, and they would match up. Even this football could be divided, either vertically or horizontally, and fold from one side to the other, or from bottom to top, and it's symmetrical in origin. In addition, you could look at some other things, such as the stop sign you see every day when you're driving. It has lots of axial symmetry, so for example, a vertical line, a horizontal line, Anything that runs straight through the center would be considered a line of symmetry, and the sign can be folded over on itself. In addition, let's take a look at something a little more comical, and take a look at the Batman logo. If you take a look at the Batman logo, it too is symmetrical right down the center. If you could manage to split it perfectly, you could fold it over onto itself. And for a more delicious version of symmetry, Take a look the next time you head down to the pizza shop and notice that every time you pick up a slice of pizza, it too is symmetrical.